past where videos used to be 20, 30 minutes long and maybe 10 minutes was useful, now they're much shorter clips of around three or four minutes to be used at different parts in the lesson or prior to the lesson. Like the other day when we did the golden ratio, when they explain it to us, they make it um, more complicated, it takes too long. Like anyone who doesn't understand it, then they have to like keep on asking the teacher because they don't understand it. And then they stop the whole class to do it and it's like, come on. And they can't go through it that many times, but we need to get on with the next thing because there's so much to do in this lesson. is really good because you don't understand it at home. With the time to watch it like a couple of times, you can fully understand it and then if you can't understand it just from the video, then you can go get help from like teachers and you have more time to like understand it. this lesson because we found out the information before class and yeah. we came into class and we had to like get started straight away and we were set to find something out on our own. I felt more like a facilitator because my job was going around asking them questions to push their learning forward. If we do it like this it doesn't waste time because we're doing it outside of the lesson. We can do it as long as we want so we can um, properly understand it. With a video, I think even if the parents can't directly help the student with the science, I think the fact that they can sit down and watch it with their child and discuss it is really powerful and it really involves parents in their own children's learning. If we forget it, somehow after the lesson we can go back to it. Then you look back and think we could have done that in a different way, so if you had to do something in the future then it might be a bit easier day before a test. You don't have to go back to your teacher, you can go back to it at home. That might be quite easy to like stick it in your head.